What's up everybody? And welcome back. Whiskey Wednesday, week eight. We made it two months of drinking whiskey every week and I couldn't feel better, to tell you the truth. Absolutely couldn't feel better. Uh, today we got the Willow Family Estate four year uh, rye, not bourbon. We're working with some rye today and I am a huge fan of this company, huge fan of what they do. Um, maybe one day they'll let me come and have a private tour or just go up for a regular tour. Um, because man, they make great whiskey. They seem like great people. Uh, I've been selling their products for a long time. I love using this rye in cocktails. It's became kind of hard to find, which is disappointing and unfortunate, but everything's becoming hard to find because of the world we live in. People like whiskey and people who make whiskey didn't realize that people were gonna like whiskey as much as they do. Uh, a couple years ago, so it, we're just catching up in the whiskey world, and um, let's let's get at it. Let's let's smell and taste some whiskey. So um, right out of the gate, got a really peppery nose with, and I always smell dill whenever I whenever I drink this whiskey neat. Um, somebody said with the with the pin hooker, I was watching some guy's video, and he was like, oh yeah, like just dill. I smell dill, and ever since then. Uh, drinking the Willow Family Estate for your rye. Dill is something that we hit. Uh, the proof on this guy, 109.8. Now, because these come in small batches, the proof's always different. They proof their whiskey the way that the whiskey should taste. So today we have 109.8. And for being a four year rye, it's so sweet on the front. Dixon Deadman of Kentucky Owl told me that whenever he makes his whiskey, whenever he makes his ryes, he, he goes with the higher age stated ryes because he wants like a very fruit forward, very light, very sweet um, front of the palate. Now you get some of that with this Willow Family Estate for your rye, but it's almost quickly like overpowered with spice, with like rye grain, it, I really like that. I, I, I like ryes both ways. I, I do like the real, like my favorite ryes are high age stated ryes, uh, like the Michter's 10, the Kentucky Owls, all of those kinds of ryes are huge for me. But like these four year ryes that like Willett's making, that New Riff is making, I, I really like these too. I just like rye, like plain and simple. And Man, I mean, like the nose, like it, there's, there's like cherry, there's barrel influence, there's so much on the front that's really exciting. And uh, fun fact about this rye, it makes a great old fashioned too, and a great Sazerac. Uh, we started at Peter Kern whenever I was there making uh, Sazeracs with the three year before the four year came out. And man, like we just loved it. We were running through Willett Family Estate like it was nobody's business. Uh, in fact, we're in the whole bar, the whole state of Tennessee, uh, still to date, we sell more Willett Family Estate rye than any other bar in the entire state, which is, it's pretty amazing because we have such a small bar. We only seat 40 people at a time and we just run through it. We're probably the reason that people can't find it, to tell you the truth, which, sorry, but it's great rye. Um, you can get it aftermarket for about 85 bucks. You should be able to find it on the shelf somewhere between 45 and 65. Um, man, it's great product. I, I have nothing but good things to say about the kind people at Willet. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the family estate line, they actually, they launched it to rebuild their distillery and start making their own product. And they were using MGP. Um, and if you go back and you start looking at some of the older products, uh, they used to be like five bucks a year. Uh, now you see people trading, selling Willett family estates. Like the 23 years, they're like three, four grand. I've never understood people that just have that much money to spend on whiskey. Like as much as I love whiskey and I love drinking whiskey and sharing it with friends, like I couldn't imagine spending three, four grand on one bottle. I mean, even some of the best whiskey I've had in my life, like I had a uh, like top floor of the Rick House. We had to climb across little planks that were like a, like as wide as my boot, you know, at the top of a Rick House at Jack Daniels, and it was, God, 
gosh, it was 100 degrees on the ground that day. It was like 140 at the top. You know, we'd been drinking a bunch of bartenders like all night the night before, and some of the best whiskey I've ever had, uh, Chris Fletcher drilled into a barrel, and he was so proud of it. It was right in the window, and the, you could see the sunlight on the barrel, and it was like, it had to have been like 140 proof, and it was just intense baking spice, and it was like just banana and like all these awesome flavors. I, even that, like even that experience, I wouldn't pay three grand for. Like, I, maybe I'm just spoiled. But, uh, gosh, I just couldn't rational. imagine. Huh? Or rational. Or rational, yeah. Like, man. Anywho, check these guys out. They make great whiskey. If you've not had one of these, I highly recommend starting here. Uh, this is the, as far as like buying their product, the way to go. Um, sometimes you can find like a store, like a pick of these. Uh, the bourbon runs a little bit higher. They're typically about six, five, six, seven years for the bourbons. Uh, if you can get them for a hundred bucks, you're doing damn well. Um, but other than that, guys, hope y'all are out there enjoying your life. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe, uh, tell your friends about us, and uh, drink some whiskey. Cheers.